What's up y'all, Last Smoke Kanama back with another Kanama unboxing. Today's unboxing is from Isaac from Lotus Kanamas. I'm unboxing the Elemental today. Recently, they just dropped the Solo Elementals, which is just their newest shape. It actually turned a year old, I believe, when that drop dropped. And I think it was the first time they did a can only of the Elemental. There's been a lot of hype around the Elemental. I do have the Mars mod and the Mala mod, and those derive from this. So it's really exciting to be able to get this so I can kind of compare those, play all of them, give you guys more videos, and also unbox this. First time Isaac sent me something out, so I really appreciate the support, Isaac. You're killing it, congrats on the baby, all that stuff. I'm excited to see what amazing stuff you guys have created. Let's get into it right now. Ow! Cut myself. Kendama, Kendama. All right, first off, we got a little packing slip, of course. Ooh, boom, done, thanks for the packing slip. And then we got a little Lotus Kendama sticker right there. And then we got the goods. We got the goods in here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh me. The bag's, that, that's the bag. This is the Kendama, this is the can. This is the beautiful elemental shape right here. This thing is so hot. Just to go over the details of the Kendama really quick. Got a beautiful Lotus logo right there, which is hot. And I believe that's the elemental logo right there, which is super beautiful. And then obviously we got just, dude, look at those colors, the colors right there. And it's kind of just like a elemental colorway, I guess it just has a variety of colors and stuff, which is really, really great. Now getting into the shape, which you all are waiting for me to talk about. This is Lotus's new shape, the sacred they had for such a long time and they finally had something that isn't that. <laughs> Two major things this shape does is it brings down the sword shape a lot. I don't have any more sacreds anymore because I don't. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit shorter from what I remember of the sacred. And then also the really cool thing about this is that it just has the nicest, whitest cups. Now it's not super wide, but it's basically just wide enough to like kind of maximize the KWC box without being too much or too little. There's a really nice amount of width on this Rado, which I really enjoy a lot. Something to talk about, which is kind of similar to another Konama Vine box, which is the active Shinaji. They both got kind of similar things going on, not saying like one did the other first, but if you have an active, you can kind of see they got a similar thing going on with these stepped cups right there. That you don't see the step, it kind of swoops in. So it's kind of different. So the effect of the stalls being great are still gonna be there, but Something I'm hoping it does is that it actually helps lock in the slingers. And uh, we will go see right now if that is the case. I'm going to do the sling test. Uh, is, is, yeah. We'll see when I get a Tom on this, how it will kind of like pull up and stuff because the weight of the Tom, it does impact the slings for sure. This definitely can get your slings done. I'm not going to say anything right away about if it's like an amazing slinger Kanama. Lunars, I got to grab a Tom for this. I got to grab a Tom for this. Checking the Lunars really quick. Let's just plop it. Wow. Ooh. Oh, popping on the Lunars, the Lunar Balance is super solid, even with just a shorter spike. The way that's sitting on there and just the amount of adjustment a player has is pretty insane. It just feels super delicate when it just plops back on to the, the cup. It is super nice Lunar Balance, like it's really great. I don't feel like the cups are overly big or anything like that, but this balance hole, definitely really big. Check out that balance hole, that is wide. Now it isn't like a cent too wide by any means, which I think is great because that ascent two base cup hole is really big. I think Lotus did a kind of good job of dialing in their slip stop ratio base cup area to their hole ratio, which is a hard thing to do. One of the other features is just like the very nice like ring right there. So you get a lot of surface area, not from the ring itself, but what's like next to it. So as you can see, there's just a lot of room around the ring that slopes nicely. So then when you get that beautiful, beautiful time on there, the bevel is just grabbing onto that area that is around there. I will have to say too, there's like a mini swoop too. So it's not like a really like harsh, swoop like the Mars mod, but it's really nice and comfy for the in-hand so far. And I have a really big feeling it's gonna be one of my favorite Kanamas just to like hold. And that sounds really weird, but in-hand feeling is one of the biggest things nowadays with Kanamas. We gotta start being picky with our Kanamas. Like if they don't feel good in our hands, if they feel big, if they feel, you know, whatever, that's, a, that's the thing to dig against it. But like this feels real, real nice. So good job, Isaac. It feels good. In terms of like juggling and stuff, yeah, I can already tell this thing's gonna be a flipping monster. And I think that was kind of like their point in all this is kind of just being a really good all-rounder. And I'm getting that really good all-rounder feeling already. It is hitting me. It feel good. This Kanama feel very, oh! I'm really excited to like get it strung up and really get like some flips going on with it and getting some like late slings, seeing if you can do that, late kens, all that kind of stuff. The Mala mod is really, really good at ken flips and juggles and taps. So seeing this as the derivative or what those derive from, I am really excited to see how this goes along with that and kind of like the differences between the Mala and the Mars and the 
elemental. That also just same idea as the ring saw. Just look at that space right next to the handle saw. It is super duper solid. So your Bev is just gonna rest on there super nicely. Also really like the thin cup rims. They're not like super thick. They're not super thin. They're just the right amount uh, right there, kind of an in-between, kind of going along with this idea of just like a really good all-rounder. Does it tap? I've seen Isaac play with this thing and it taps like a monster. I'm not good at taps, but I can like double tap. I can trip tap. Uh, so we'll see if he's just good or if I'm just bad or if this thing's good at taps. Did you, did you see? Did you, did you see? Did you see the way it bounced? Did you see? Yeah. Did you see that? Did you, did you? I feel real bouncy, Isaac. This is really nice. Honestly, super excited to like play with this thing a lot, a lot, a lot more and just really get a good feeling for how good this Kendama is. It's not strung up right now and I haven't even really got to like play with it, play with it. I can already tell it's gonna get the job done really well. A lot of Kendamas do that, but this is gonna get it done very, very well. Review coming out on this as soon as I play with it more. This is gonna have its own designated video, but just like even having both of these and had the Mars mod and the Elemental and kind of see where it derives, just the different angles on the stall point all that kind of stuff. The swoop just being a little bit more and rounded out on this one. Just a lot of cool stuff happening there. The Mala mod having, again, just pretty much the opposite of what I just said. It all derives from this shape, which is really cool. Super excited to play with this thing a lot more. That's it for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, hit post notifications. So you can be one of the first to watch these videos when they come out. And obviously sharing the video goes a long way for the channel. This is Elijah from Uncle Konam and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.